If you want to change the appearance of galley or story view, then you can go over here into edit or you can go on to in copy menu inside of Mac and then go to preferences right over here and then you can work with the galley and story display option right over here. So once you go over here, you get to this option as you can see. So you can choose the text color, which is by default set to black and white. So you can set it, let's say for example, to yellow and you can set the background to black and press OK. And you can see that the layout changes out just like that, as you can see. So let me just go over here onto uh, the edit preferences and uh, gallery and story display itself. And over here, there's different themes you can choose as well. So ink on paper is the default one. You can go for amber mono monochrome, a terminal, as you can see. So if you want like a terminal display right over here. So you want to have something like this, like windows right over there. So you can see that the looks actually get adjusted just like that as well. So if I were to go over here onto uh, preferences again, let's see some other options that this provides. So gallery and story display, as you can see right here. So there's terminal. So you can override the previous font over here. So overriding is there. Anti-aliasing is smoothing out the font is here as well. So that really makes out the graphics and it does not take up that much of graphics power as well. You can see that there's different cursor options as well. So I can make it more block. Let me just turn off like, let's say, for example, LCD optimize and disable the anti-aliasing all altogether. Press OK. And you can see that the fonts look much more sharper right over here. So you really need to be in high definition mode to actually view the difference. And you can see right over here, this looks like a traditional font selection right over here. And that is the cursor you're working with right over here. So just like that, you can see that you can type in and change out everything. You want to get back to default, you can simply go back over here on to edit preferences. And then I'm going to go to galley and story. I'm just going to go around enable anti-aliasing right over here. And then I'm going to choose ink on paper. I'm going to choose, let's say, for example, the uh, bar uh, barbell type of a cursor. I want it to blink and press OK. And I can see that now the look has changed just like that. And that is how you can change the appearance of galley and story view inside of Adobe InCopy. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.